Senator Mitch McConnell goes out and he says uh, maybe the states should declare bankruptcy. Okay, this is one of the really dumb ideas of all time. Yes, airlines are important. Yes, small business is important. So are police and fire and healthcare workers who are the frontline workers. New York puts in more money to the federal pot than it takes out. His state takes out more than it puts in. Senator McConnell, who's getting bailed out here? It's your state that is living on the money that we generate. New York Republican Congressman Peter King called McConnell's statement shameful and described the Republican majority leader as the Marie Antoinette of the Senate. Congressman King joins me in just a moment. Good afternoon and thanks for joining me. I'm Katie Turr. We'll have much more on those jobless claims and a look inside a silent Caesars Palace with our reporters across the country in just a moment. But first, let's get right to Capitol Hill where they are voting right now. And joining me is Republican Congressman Peter King of New York. Congressman, thank you very much for being with us. You're particularly irked because the states pay the salaries of the first responders, of the firefighters, of the New York policemen, of the EMS workers those that are on the front lines of trying to keep all of us safe. Tell me about about these comments about filing for bankruptcy as a as a means for states instead of getting money from the federal government. What Senator McConnell said was absolutely disgraceful. You're right, Katie. These are the cops, the firefighters, the health care workers. They're the ones in the front lines. They're the ones who are dying. And we, even the transit, we had 71 transit workers, I think, have died. In my county alone, Nassau County, we have over 1,100 deaths. We have more than the entire state of California and Kentucky combined. We have over 50,000 cases on Long Island and Nassau and Suffolk County. This has pushed our government to the brink of bankruptcy, quite frankly. Uh, and sales tax revenue is off. In Nassau County, 40% of the county's revenues come from sales tax. Business is down. There's virtually no sales tax coming in. So for Mitch McConnell to look upon this as a giveaway, you know, it's not a giveaway when there's a, t- a tornado or a flood or a hurricane in Kentucky, one of the states adjacent to Mitch McConnell. We give the money. We voluntarily give it because we know that this is a national problem that has to be addressed. And somehow for him to say this is a... a, a, a go into bankruptcy rather than be able to pay your cops, your firefighters, your health care workers when there's a national pandemic, which these people, uh, which our leaders in our, our state and our counties had nothing to do with, where they're trying to, uh, we're following all of the federal regulations, doing everything that has to be done. And we had the death rate is overwhelming in uh, New York State. And for him to say that we should, somehow this is a giveaway, that we're looking for free money. Now, Mitch McConnell should be ashamed of himself. What he said is beyond disgraceful. They've done this before. They did this with Sandy. They made us fight for every penny for Sandy, despite the fact that we gave $65 billion overnight to the southern states with Katrina. Similarly, when it came to the 9-11 health care money, 9-11 compensation, we had to fight for almost 10 years before we got that money, which was owed to the men and women who were dying from what happened to them at Ground Zero. So this is par for the course for McConnell. I thought he had gotten over it, but I guess not. How much money do you think New York is actually going to need? Katie, I, I couldn't begin to tell you. I mean, that's going to take detailed estimates from, from the governor, from the mayors, from the county executives, just like we've done in the past. Now, I, I would assume they could come up pretty quickly with a general number. And that that should be allocated. But again, in the final analysis, I'm not looking for one more penny than is needed. And I would say all of the money, all of the costs directly related to the coronavirus should be reimbursed by the federal government. Because this is a national uh, work we're doing. For every person we stop from spreading the pandemic in in New York, that's one person that's not going to spread it beyond the state. I mean, this we know how contagious this is. If we can somehow stop it in New York to the extent that we are, and in New Jersey to the extent that they are, we're perform- performing a national service. Plus, we're, protect- we're protecting Americans the way we've always protected the people in Kentucky, who, as Governor Cuomo pointed out, get far more money per capita than we do at the federal level. It's bad enough they took away the property tax deduction from us. Now they're doing this to us. I don't know. Maybe they should realize the civil war is over. How quickly do you think New York needs this money? I would say very soon. That's why I know that Senator Schumer did not insist that the uh, 
state and local governments be compensated in the bill we're voting on today. But in the next one, whenever the next one comes due, which should be in the next few weeks, that's when state and local governments have to receive some level of compensation, some, some level of aid, because we need it desperately. I mean, we can survive another week or so, I guess, two weeks. The fact is, they're running out of money, and this is desperate. I mean, we have bodies literally piled up, people being buried in Potter's Field. This is the real deal we're facing here, and we're confronting it. We're doing what we have to do. Every doctor, nurse, healthcare worker, cop, firefighter, they're out there. Or Mitch McConnell's off in Kentucky somewhere. Uh, Governor Cuomo has said repeatedly that he's spoken to the New York caucus, I presume you're one of them, and said that you need to demand that money for states is in the stimulus that you're about to go to go vote on in a moment, the latest stimulus. Why is that money not in there? First of all, he's only spoken to Democrats in the, in the delegation. I've had a good relationship with Governor Cuomo over the years, but I haven't heard one word from him on the uh, coronavirus, and I'm a senior Republican in the state. Having said that, putting that aside, I think the uh, prudential judgment was made by Chuck Schumer that the money is not needed at this moment, but it's needed very soon. So uh, Chuck Schumer agreed to let the uh, package go today because the small businesses needed so much. He didn't want to hold that up uh, you know, to deprive them of the money that they need to stay alive business-wise, but certainly whatever package comes up next, the federal, uh, the state and local government aid has to be included in that. Congressman, just one more question before I let you go. Do you think politics is at play here with Mitch McConnell's desire not to give money to the states? There's reporting that someone on his team called it a blue state bailout. Is this more about a, a political win than it is about making sure that first responders are paid and taken care of? Yeah, and it's sort of a political cheap shot. They think anyone who lives in New York is somehow a blue state person or a Democrat. Listen, we heard that with 9-11, with the 9-11 funding. Uh, the cops and the firemen, they were saying this is a bailout for New York, a bailout for the blue state. We're Americans. This has nothing to do. This is not an ideological issue. We're not talking about any type of philosophical or political dispute. We're talking about people who are dying and we need the state and local governments need the money to prevent more people from dying and to pay those who are doing the job. So I think he's trying to make it a political issue. He's probably appealing to some hardcore base he has down in Kentucky. You know, he has an election coming up, so he wants to, I guess, appeal to that base, that anti-New York mentality that still prevents pervades so much of his state. The reality is we can't, can't allow this to become political. Listen, I voted the first day to send money uh, down south for Katrina. I was down there as chairman of the Homeland Security Committee, going through New Orleans and Mississippi and Alabama. So this was never a regional issue until these guys started with Sandy and 9-11 and now with this. Congressman Peter King, Congressman, thank you very much and good luck voting. We Katie, appreciate your time, thank sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. And underscoring the importance of today's relief vote are today's jobless.